Hello guys, welcome to Club 3D TV. I am of course NVC and today got a very special product unboxing now. I'll be doing videos for Club 3D as a Team Dash Infuse.net player. So they of course sponsor us. And today I've got the AMD Radeon HD 7970 just come out of NDA by the time you're watching this on the 9th of January 2012. Looking to be the single fastest GPU on the market. And for me as a competitive player of esports tournaments around the world, in the FPS genre, I'm going to be looking for things like 250 FPS stable in Call of Duty 4, uh, Tribes of Sen, Quake Live, Battlefield 3 as well. I mean, I want to hold 60 FPS on Ultra all the way. Um, but again, you know, this is what I'm working for. I hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. And today with the AMD 7970, I want to see massive, massive improvements on all of my game experiences. And I'll be doing the uh, play tests to follow the unboxing, but the unboxing is going to be the first video, guys. So stick around and uh, we'll get this one started. So hi guys, welcome back. Uh, again, the AMD Radeon HD 7970 in front of me right here today. Uh, let's have a look at the box, shall we? So of course, red and black are the AMD colours. You also notice that Dirt Free does come free with this AMD HD 7970. Uh, remember, it came free also with the HD 6870x2 that I unboxed and reviewed earlier on, uh, in back in 2011, of course. Now, um, what else can we see? DX11 support, OpenGL support, 1080p, Full HD support. We know that's a bit of a buzzword, but uh, it does support that. Um, and 7.1 HD surround sound. Uh, other interesting facts, of course, PCI Express 3.0, the first card in the world to support PCI Express 3.0. But what's important is it is backwards compatible. Uh, so you guys without PCI Express 3.0 motherboards are not going to have too much of a problem. I don't have 3.0 uh, support on my motherboard. So I'll be using 2.0 the backwards compatibility here with the card. And I hear the performance is just about the same at the moment as well. So don't need to worry about upgrading just yet guys. This uh, card is certainly going to have performance without it. Um, other interesting things again. Supports Crossfire X which is your uh, multi GPU support. Uh, Ifinity, which is your multi-monitor support. You've got AMD Accelerated Parallel Processing Technology. Not quite sure what that is yet, but I'll talk a little bit about it in the playtest, I'm sure, when I've uh, got to grips with the card, so to speak. And you've got AMD HD 3D Technology, which is AMD's version of the 3D uh, tech they put out. Have a look on the back of the box. Here you can see Ifinity 2.0 Technology again, just mentioning what before. Uh, AMD Power Tune Technology. I have a feeling this is something to do with overclocking, so Think of it as turbo for the GPU. Get higher clock speeds on the fly with better performance in your favourite games with AMD Power Tune technology. Uh, specifications, 3072 megabyte of GDDR5 memory. So again, you know, it's not down at one, mega, uh, one gigabyte memory, so you are going to be able to push the higher resolutions, and that's exactly what you're going to be wanting to do with this card. Not only just the single monitor setup at 1920 by 1080 perhaps, but, you know, dual try monitor setups, you'll be just fine. Um, Eventually you get to the point where you need a second 7970, but believe me, that's not going to be anytime soon. Um, again, uh, we've got 364-bit memory interface, 2048 stream processors, 400 megahertz RAM DAX, and again, the PCI Express 3.0 that I have to keep pointing out. Um, da -da -da. The only other thing I really need to mention, the connectivity, what we're going to see on the card, are two mini display ports. They, of course, do support 120 hertz throughputted to... Uh, the monitors and vice versa of course so uh, you're not going to have a problem with this card. Other things to note perhaps uh, the recommended power supply again always seems to be the green edition the uh, CSP D700CB uh, or the 700 watt power supply but again I do recommend you go one high just in case you end up you know dual GPUing it so you know maybe the CSP D850CB uh, the 850 watt power supply could be your cup of tea but uh, again you probably already got a decent power supply so uh, if you haven't check out club-3d.com you'll be able to see uh, the entire Club 3D range on there if we move on here, system requirements, I think that's been pretty much covered on just the motherboard. You're going to have everything else if you're looking at this card, let's be honest. Uh, performance is extreme up until the number 9 out of 10 mark. As expected, the best single GPU on the market now uh, from Club 3D. And your highest resolution support here, digital, 2560 by 1600. Thanks for watching this part, guys, and stick around. We're going to go ahead and unbox the video. Okay, so let's get this unboxed, shall we? Um, again, I guess I guess it's the uh, white standard Club 3D box. Yeah, pretty much. Um, as always, uh, straight away, 
you've got your driver CD. Again, I do recommend you go to club-3d.com, download the latest drivers, even though this car's just been unveiled on the 9th of January, has been under NDA for a short while now, and I have a feeling maybe there's been some updated drivers already, uh, fixed various bugs, so on and so forth. So if you have access to an internet connection, which I'm sure you do, go ahead to club-3d.com, download the latest drivers, and, uh, you know, get away with it. But if not, if you're not, just install these, and you can update later on. Um, no problem whatsoever. And actually, this is interesting because I reviewed four Club 3D graphics cards now, and every single one, Club 3D specifically stated they do not include adapters because if the consumer unfortunately has to return the card, um, they often came bundled with and used adapters. Now, I'm going to guess this is top of the line, and maybe that would be the case for future graphics cards. I'll double check for you, but uh, they've just included these because consumers who buy this graphics card, top of the range, are going to want to perhaps double up, um, and as well, I guess dual tri-monitor setup because we've got here a DVI-D to HDMI adapter um, which is interesting actually because uh, you do have both HDMI and DVI-D on the back so maybe there's an issue with having to use various uh, ports to get that dual and tri-monitor setup um, I don't think you can actually use DVI-D officially so that might be why you've got uh, HDMI to uh, get the most out of your graphics card um, Another one here as well, it looks like this one is a mini display port to DVI adapter, um, active I should mention. Well, and uh, wow, here comes the graphics card. Oh, actually we have a few more things before we get to the graphics card. Let's not uh, stop just there, shall we? So uh, first off you do have your Do Not Disturb Gaming in Progress door stop. Um, or door sign. Uh, on the back you've got your serial numbers to register the card on the website, get all of the warranty that comes with the card. Uh, you've got your DIRT3 code um, and you've got your quick installation guides, uh, English and German. Ah, so, let's get this off the table shall we? We don't need that anymore. Just got the graphics card. This is a very long card actually. So uh, there we go. It's uh, AMD HD7970 from Club 3D. Um, if we have a look on this side, first you can see a 6 pin and an 8 pin power adapter. Uh, remember, you will get that on the Club 3D power supplies. But uh, double check you have enough, I'm sure you do. Um, I think the 687x2 actually had two 8 pin adapters. And, uh, again, dual GPU. So this single one has an 8 and a 6. Um, you've got your cross by bridge on the top here. There are your two mini display ports, your HDMI port, and your DVI-D port. Again, mini display port and the DVI-D will support 120 hz for your monitors. And uh, the last thing, I do believe there's a switch on here that allows you to custom flash the BIOS. Just trying to find where it might be. Um, I know it's somewhere. Uh, tell you what, back in a second, I'm going to find it. Okay, so welcome back. I found the button. <laughs> it was pretty difficult, small. It wasn't as big as I was expecting, but it's right here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, but uh, you've got a number one and a number two, and it's currently set to the one position. I guess you switch it over to number two, and you can flash custom firmware, so on and so forth. Um, but it is there nonetheless uh, for you guys that may be interested in that. Um, and I guess that pretty much concludes the unboxing, guys. Uh, it is a fully enclosed card. We've got your single fan here on the left side. I'm not quite sure what size that is. Um, but it's on the left there. Uh, I remember the 6870 times 2 was a similar setup. So very much looking forward to getting this one in, guys. It feels very, very sturdy. I think the sturdiest uh, Club 3D card I've had today, I could probably drop this and it would survive. I'm not going to. It's uh, very expensive. But I could. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, nah, I'm not going to do it. So uh, stay tuned guys, the playtests are coming up next. Uh, it's going to be awesome to see how this card performs. I am, to be honest, um, the thing I'm most excited with now, and you can probably hear it in my voice, is to play a bit of Tribes Ascend because I've been running an, another graphics card for a while and it's not at this level. And I have a feeling I'm going to be able to get the FPS up just a little bit, if not a lot. And I don't know if you play Tribes Ascend, guys, but check it out, tribesascend.com. If you drop below 60 FPS in that game, you can really feel a lot of input lag. And it can happen when I'm live streaming. Remember, I do live stream uh, to an audience almost every day. 
Uh, check that out, twitch.tv forward slash ZRONVC. You'll be able to watch me play competitively using the Club 3D graphics card. And I'm sure if you check on the next following week, 9th to sort of, I don't know, 13th before I decide to send it back, I want to get a bit of playtime. You've got to watch me uh, playing with this card live on that channel. Follow my Twitter, ZRONVC. Oh, and also follow Club 3D on Twitter. Follow them on Facebook, Club 3D. And also go to Club 3D.com, guys. But again, I've been MVC. Thanks for watching the unboxing. And, uh, We'll see you soon for the playtest.